Hello, welcome. Read the problem and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, so this says when b is greater than 0 and d is a positive integer, the expression 3b to the power of 2 over d is equivalent to which of these? Alright, so there's a lot to unpack here. We've got 3b to the power of 2 over d. That's what we're dealing with. What does this even mean? Well, there's a couple ways to interpret it. First, I'm going to think of it as 3b to the second power, and that whole thing to the 1 over d. And that's equivalent because 2 times 1 over d is 2 over d. These are equivalent things. If I think about it that way, what's going to happen? Well, first I square 3 and b. I distribute this 2 to both b and 3, and I get 9b squared. And that, we still have to find the dth root of that, which would be the dth root of 9b squared. That's one way to think about it. An equivalent but different way to write it would be to think of it not as 3b squared first, but take the dth root first and then square it. Just reversed these two exponents here. Same thing. 2 times 1 over d and 1 over d times 2. Those are equivalent. That's what the commutative property tells us of multiplication. What do I do here? Well, I can distribute 1 over d to both 3 and b, and I'm essentially taking the dth root of 3b. And then we still need to square it, which is exactly what you see in choice four. But it's nice to look at here. Actually, if you take the dth root and then square it, or square it and then take the dth root, that these are going to be equivalent. And in general, if you have a rational exponent, you can apply these exponents in any order, and you won't run into issues. Although usually, just so you know, it ends up being generally simpler if you take the root first, the denominator first, and apply that to scale down the value of your base. But that's for another problem. I hope this helped.